Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So I've been asked recently what kind of camera I use to record my videos, as well as what kind of software I use to edit. So I thought today's video would be about that. Uh, I'll give you guys a little behind the scenes, show you what kind of equipment I'm using and the software I use to make all my videos. And maybe I'll be able to recommend a couple other things that you could use. So, uh, hang out, I'll be right back and we'll get into it. So I use two different cameras to record my videos. The first and my main camera is this one here. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T3. It's a 12 megapixel DSLR. It's an entry level DSLR, so it's cheaper than some of your, you know, like the Canon 5D and all these things that are really high end expensive DSLRs. So it's a good one to start out with, especially if you've never used a DSLR and you're not entirely sure what to do with them. This is a good one to, to start out with. The controls are relatively easy but still feature packed and it gets uh, really good quality, much better than a normal point and shoot kind of camera. These are the three lenses that I use with my uh, Canon DSLR. I've got a 50 millimeter lens, prime lens, so it doesn't zoom at all. 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. This is the lens that came with the uh, camera and it does have a zoom. It uh, zooms from 18 to 55 millimeters. And then the 55 to 250 zoom lens. It's a nice range of lenses all the way from 18 millimeters to uh, which is zoomed out pretty far all the way to 250 which is uh, zoomed in to get nice close-ups. I usually primarily use the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens just for the ability to take wide angle shots and or zoom in to get a little bit closer. I really love the 50 millimeter prime lens though because it gives great depth of field. I think this goes down to two, uh, an f-stop of two, which really blurs out the background to get that real nice depth of field look, uh, especially with portraits. So I love that one. That's a great one to have if you if you just you get the kit lens comes with your camera. If you're looking for an overall great lens to get to have, um, 35 millimeter to 50 millimeter something like that would be awesome. And these are all autofocus lenses, which is a must have for me. I can't see well enough to manually focus, so an autofocus lens is is a great thing to get. A little tip though, if you don't need autofocus and you can manually focus no problem, check on eBay. A lot of times you can get vintage lenses that uh, you know people have an old camera that their parents had and they don't need anymore and they're trying to sell the lens. You can get really good lenses for cheap on eBay, um, but chances are they're not going to be autofocus lenses. So all right, let's take a look on the next camera. All right, my second camera is a Sony CyberShot. Um, it's just a point and shoot kind of camera, but it's 16 megapixels, takes full HD video. It's uh, got Wi-Fi so you can use your cell phone as a wireless monitor if you'd like, which I do often and it works great. You can also upload video and pictures wirelessly to your computer and it's great. I needed something that was portable, something I could hold in my hand and walk around with. So I picked this one up mainly because of the uh, you know 16 megapixels as well as the Wi-Fi built-in. Let's see if we can turn it on. Turn it around so you can see here. Uh, I think it's a three inch screen and it's got pretty good features. It takes great video so you know it's a good one to have uh, if you don't want to spend a ton of money but you still want something that you can carry around and take good videos with. Uh, it also takes great pictures so this one's a good one. 
Also forgot to mention that the Canon DSLR that I use takes HD video also. I think it's only 720 though. But I mean, that's great for YouTube. That's what I upload to YouTube in anyway. So works out. Of course, I'll have links to all these products down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories I like to use. All right, next we'll talk about lighting. Uh, lighting is very important. You need a lot of good lighting to uh, record these videos. I picked up a couple of these clamp lights from Lowe's and they work great. This has a very bright, cool color bulb, halogen bulb. Uh, I would say, I think it's like a daylight is what it's uh, marked as on the packaging, but it's, it's on the cool side, so it's on the blue side. You know, usually your, your incandescent bulbs that you get for your house, for your living room, something like that, are on the warm side, so they have more of a yellow tint. But I wanted a daylight color, so I wanted it on the cool side. Although when I brought it home and, and I, realized, I plugged it up, realized that I needed a warmer one to kind of, it was too cool, so I needed a warmer one to also um, contrast on that cool. So I have two of these clamp lights. One has a cool bulb, the other has a warm bulb. And they work great working together. It does have a clamp, so you can clamp it to whatever you want. And it will hold in place whatever I need to clamp it to to get the right angle and they work great. So here is the lamp in action. I've got it clamped to a um, door and a cabinet door in my office slash daughter's playroom. But uh, these lamps are pretty harsh by themselves. It, it, it's a harsh light so it really works best if you have a filter of some kind. So I also have a couple of these uh, photography umbrellas and it just filters the light a little bit and helps it to spread out and you can see hopefully you guys can see there I have it uh, just clamped to the door right behind the lamp so this is my setup please forgive this like I said this is my daughter's playroom so it's a little messy but not too bad um, I've got the camera set up over here on the tripod. I have two tripods, one for my DSLR, the other one is for this Sony CyberShot camera that I'm using right now. This was my intro shot here of me sitting in the chair with the computer behind me. I've got this bright window to my left here that is casting great light on me on my right side when I'm sitting there and then I have this light here set up just to give me a little bit of light on the shadow side. If I needed brighter I could uh, set up another light if I wanted to or two more. Lots of different options. So this is my cameras and my the accessories I use most of the time. We'll go ahead and talk about the software. Alright so I use two main video editing softwares. The first one is Sony Vegas Pro. This is uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12, and this is my main video editing software. It's very robust, very versatile. I can do a ton of stuff. You know, you can do text, video effects, um, color correction. It integrates with plugins such as Magic Bullet or um, uh, Video Copilot plugins. So you can use third-party plugins within this application. You can add multiple tracks uh, as far as video layers and audio layers. So it really makes it very easy to edit video. Uh, there's a bit of a learning curve. Uh, if you're looking for something a little more uh, easy, a little simpler, then you might want to check out Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, now I should say these are all for PC. I don't know about Mac. I'm not a Mac user. But uh, Windows Live Movie Maker is free. Doesn't come already on a lot of computers, but you can download it for free, and it's a free uh, free software. This works great, uh, but it's very basic. It's cut and paste your your clips and uh, throw in one audio track. It only gives you one audio layer, so you can't multiply audio layers or you know uh, or double up or triple up audio layers. But you know you can do effects. You can do text, um, intros, outros, all that kind of stuff. 
So this is this is a great one to use if you if you just want the basics. Now the other bit of software that I use is called Adobe After Effects. This one I think is CS6 maybe. Um, this is primarily a motion graphics editing software. So, you know, text flying in and cool explosions, you know, all those special effects stuff you can do with this. I primarily use this for to create my thumbnails for my videos or the um, lower third animations. You know, if, my, if I say, hey guys, this is Sam, and Sam pops in on a cool banner or something like that, then, you know, this is how you make it. My outro, my new outro, all my intros I've used this to make the the title flying in and things like that is all with this software this takes some some uh, time to learn and learn what everything does once you do though it's awesome you can do so many different cool things with this software and there's tutorials out there on YouTube for all these bits of software you can find all everything you need to know you can learn off YouTube well, there you go, guys. Hopefully that answers any questions that people have had um, about the stuff that I'm using to make my videos. If you have any other questions, please leave comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. But that's it, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, you've reached the outro screen. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please hit that like button down below and also hit the subscribe button that's right below me here. That way you can stay up to date on all the videos coming out in the future. But thank you very much once again guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.